Hi, it's time for my weekly OEA update. Uh, this is a big week. Uh, of course, yesterday, Governor DeWine made his long-awaited announcement that our school buildings will be closed for the rest of this school year, and we're gonna be continuing remote learning. Um, I have to begin this conversation by just expressing my appreciation to Governor, Governor DeWine for his leadership. Uh, he did include me and the leaders of OPSI and the Ohio Federation of Teachers uh, in his conversations over the weekend as he was gathering input uh, and deciding how best to proceed with this decision as he was also talking with uh, superintendents. Uh, so we had a really good conversation with him and Superintendent DeMaria. Uh, and I laid out to him a number of concerns and, and the number one concern that I know that we absolutely share in common is that we are committed to the health and safety of everyone. Uh, it begins with our students, it begins with the adults who work in our schools uh, and our communities. And so that's why we welcome the governor's decision. Uh, we think he made the right move as heartbreaking as it is to know that we're not gonna be in person with our students for the rest of the school year. Um, some of the other things that, that uh, I relate to him and are priorities of ours is that as decisions make, are happening, uh, it is so critical that decision making is collaborative. Uh, we don't need top-down uh, decisions imposed on us uh, because we are the ones that work on the front lines with students every day. Uh, we need to be part of those conversations. And that's true at the state level and it's also true at the local level. Uh, we need to be very clear and looking at everything we're doing with the lens on equity. Um, we know that there were vast inequities in the system that existed before. Uh, this current crisis has put a spotlight on them and has made them worse. And as we are planning for uh, coming back to an educational uh, setting for next year, whenever and however that's going to look, we have to make sure that we are paying attention to identifying and addressing uh, the needs of our students who are most vulnerable. Those people that have lack, lacked technology access, lacked uh, access to nutritious meals, lacked access to their basic fundamental needs so that they can learn. Um, we know that we have to av advocate for resources. Uh, it's gonna take dollars to do this and we know the state is facing uh, tremendous losses in revenue because of this economic situation. We have to fight as hard as we possibly can to make sure that every dollar possible uh, can be devoted to this effort. And we also have to continue to address those long-term challenges. Um, you know, it made a lot of sense to suspend testing this year. We should consider suspending testing next year, uh, not having report cards next year, uh, continuing to attack this, this horrible situation with vouchers. Um, until we get those underlying barriers to success for everybody addressed, um, you know, we're not gonna be doing all that we can and all that we should to serve the needs of our students. So I have a few asks of you. Uh, number one, as I've been talking about the importance of collaboration at the state level, I need each and every one of you, if you are a local president, to demand a seat at the table with your superintendent, with your school board, to make sure that you're part of that planning for What's, gonna, what's it gonna look like when we go back to school? Uh, how are we gonna make sure that we continue to advocate for our members and for our students with the local union and the collective bargaining process being at the center of that process? Number two, I need you to take action with Congress. Um, they need to hear from every single one of us that it is so critically important that Congress take action to provide necessary support for states, local communities, and especially school districts to make sure that we have the resources that we need. Uh, I also wanna encourage you and all of our fellow members to be sure to vote. There's only a week until this election's over. Also vote in the STRS election for our endorsed candidate, Andrew Smith. And finally, do all you can to continue to communicate with your fellow members. Know that we've got great resources on our website. We'll continue to offer all kinds of programs. Uh, we just had a telephone town hall with our ESP members and Senator Brown. Uh, the other night, it went great. We're going to continue to reach out, but I need your help. LRCs, local presidents, uh, members of our board, everybody coming together to make sure that we're all communicating and staying connected and supporting one another. Thanks for all that you do uh, and make it a good week.